Hey everyone, welcome back to the CAF Convos podcast, where we get down to the nitty gritty aspects of student life. We have new main episodes every other Monday and new sub series episodes every other Wednesday. Make sure to follow us on Spotify, Apple Music, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And on top of that, drop a follow on our Instagram at CAF Convos Podcast. Enjoy! Hi everyone, welcome to the second episode of Girl Talk. Um, today, we are joined by me, Ella, Emma, Kayla, and Anna. And we'll be moving on from our last topic, which was about our childhood and growing up as a girl. And now we'll be talking about what it's like to be a teenager and a girl. Um, okay. So we'll be touching on like just being in the adolescence range and also going through high school as a girl and just navigating the not adult yet, but not a kid anymore range. Right. It's a fun time. Mm. <laughs> sure. mm. All right. So what are some of your experiences that you've noticed that are kind of specific to you being a girl as you've phased out of that childhood area and started to become a woman? <laughs> um, I think a big part of being a teenager is definitely high school. And there's definitely some weird parts of high school that you get to go through as a girl that you wouldn't go through otherwise. Like, mm. just all the things surrounding teenage girls, but in a high school setting. So there's other students, there's teachers, they're just, it's so judgy there. And, it, and <laughs> then add the fact that people just judge girls no matter what, on top of the judgy high school thing. It's like a whole, you Oh, know, yeah. Yes. Again, girls, Never win. We never win here. <laughs> um, yeah. I guess expectations are different, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, now mm -hmm. you're supposed to be thinking about what you want to do in the future. And I think being a girl has changed a lot of people's perspective. Or not changed, but, you know, it's different for some of us, I guess, compared yeah. to what my parents might expect my brother to be when he's in high school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's, like, that weird divide where it's, like, girls, like guys are like going into like one area and girls are going into the other but there's not so much of that now but there's also still a little bit mm -hmm. and it's just especially in like if in your high school classes if you're in like a more like male dominated class there's definitely like a weird atmosphere as a girl being in these classes like yeah i would like that... traditionally techie classes or like traditionally mm -hmm. mathy classes you know what i mean yeah. I think those types of dynamics really open up an odd environment in the sense where it's girls who are in a male dom dominated class, but at the same time, you also kind of get girls who are like, yeah, I'm in a male dominated class. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's, it's a different type of competition. You know, yeah. you feel more competitive. Like you I, have to constantly yeah. prove yourself in classes. Because it's not, it's a, it's a, it's almost like the sense of like, not only do you have to prove to the guys in your class, but you also have to prove to the girls in the rest of the school, which is like, I find that high school kind of is like, society already tries to pit women against each other. And in high school, it's like that, but on steroids, it's like you, you are yeah. out to get each other. And it's like, why? Yeah, and it's like in every aspect, like, in terms of appearance, mm -hmm. who you talk to, who your friends are, your mm -hmm. grades, what classes you're taking, what you wear, everything, mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. everything becomes like, so much more intense in high school because you're because things like that start yeah. to suddenly matter yeah. to you yeah and that whole double not even i don't even know if you'd call it double standard but that whole like um idea that like no matter what a girl does it's gonna somehow be like turned back around on them like mm -hmm. you you wear makeup you're trying too hard you don't wear makeup you don't look nice you yeah. like you wear like the trendy clothes you're basic you wear like funky clothes you're weird you know like it's you just in a time of your life where you're meant to be figuring everything out and learning self-expression it's so so limited and so like hated on in high school yeah. i find i don't know yeah i mean like we see people dress certain ways and i notice like in our friend group or just people i know they'll start picking at it like why are they dressed like that why are they doing that you know it's that's not the way we do it and it's kind of like why does it have to be that way like but i only see it with girls. Mm -hmm. I never Dude, really I, with It guys. doesn't matter if, like, if a guy shows up to school in like sweatpants versus like, jeans and a hoodie. Like, there's no difference between it. You know what I mean? 
if you like show up if you show up to school in like a nice dress or something it's like oh huh who are you trying to impress here like why are you all dressed yeah. up yeah yeah or but if you like show up in like sweatpants you know like hoodies it's just like oh are you okay you look really yeah. sick oh my god are you okay? oh, i'll tell you, you look so <laughs> No, yeah. it's it's like ingrained in my brain now too because people have been telling me like every time they wear sweatpants they're like oh yeah I'm on my period like now that's all I associate it with. Bro, I just okay. This is this is kind of a little bit off topic, but one thing I kind of noticed more in high school is like when we had like like dances and stuff or like formal ish events. I find it absolutely fascinating the lengths at which girls go to to dress up. And I, there's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's so much fun to dress up and get dressed up and do your makeup and do that if that's what you want to do. And then I see, like, this is no shade. I just find this so funny. The extent to which boys do. <laughs> okay, this is, this is like a high, this is like grade eight, grade nine, my reference point here. Like, um, so on our grade eight grad trip, I know this is in high school, but it's close enough. Our grade eight grad trip, we had a dance. And it was like pulling tooth and nail to get the boys to wear jeans. And when they put jeans on, everyone was like, wow, they're so dressed up. And the girls spent like two hours getting ready. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. I just find it really funny that those two expectations exist, that it's almost expected for girls, especially now in high school, to go through like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, the whole alphabet to get ready. Whereas guys can do like A, B, call it a day and just go off and it's fine. And it's like both of them are fine, but why is it expected that I'm meant to be doing the first one? <laughs> if that makes any sense. That was a yeah. bit of a tangent. <laughs> No, you're right. It's like, um, people were really dressed up for grad. Like, that was the one night everyone was like, this is formal wear. And I remember how big of a deal it was when Matthew wore his fedora. <laughs> but, like, that was the big deal. He put on a hat and we're like, good job, Matthew. Good job, Matthew. <laughs> that was like, no, but that was like our grad. Like, like, when they put suits on and they, play, like, they buttoned their shirts and they tucked it into their pants, we were all like... <laughs> Like, that's our fault. <laughs> wow, wow, you're changing shoes for it. <laughs> you're oh not coming God. in in your neon Under Armour tracks. <laughs> oh. No shade, no. no shade. You know, if that's how you want to dress, dress completely fine. <laughs> yeah, and I guess branching off of this, with the whole expectation of like, oh, girls will do their hair, their makeup, everything. It also kind of it gives like. If you do that, it's like, oh, well, obviously you're doing that. O girls only like makeup, clothes, and shopping. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? If you don't do it, but, so they'll like make fun of you for getting ready for so long. It's like, oh, yeah. oh, these these females in the washroom taking so long to get ready. But then if you don't do that, it's like, oh, you're so ugly. You gotta gotta take care of your mm -hmm. parents. Oh, mm -hmm. why, is it, why are you so ugly? It's like, there's, but, no, but, there's no balance. There's also What's like, it? you have you ever heard girls say things and like, I am like, guilty of this and I'm trying to stop it. But like, if you, um, in like taking the washroom scenario, like I used, like if I was, I don't know, let's say I was out of the, I was ready faster than a guy. I'd be like, wow, you're slower than me and I'm the girl. Like I'm enforcing those stereotypes mm -hmm. or like when you say like, oh, that's so basic. It's like, yeah. Like, like these, these little yourself. things, yeah. These little things are just like ingrained in you, because like it's like mm -hmm. I don't know. You, everyone's saying it to you. You can't just like wipe it from your mind. But like mm -hmm. little things of like, oh, haha. -ha, um, I'm not wearing makeup today. I'm not like this girl. She always wearing makeup. I'm not mm -hmm. wearing makeup. Uh, but it's like neither is better, you know. Neither is worse. Mm -hmm. But somehow, to some people one is better than the other and then it creates like a like a shift a competition. in like competition yeah mm -hmm. like a competition mm -hmm. and it, i think it happens a lot in high school um mm -hmm. one big thing in high school like especially as girls um like from what i've seen there's a lot of like like okay reference for everyone that's not in high school being popular is not that big of a deal like it's not what the movies make it out to be but it's still also <laughs> kind of there like yeah. there's like maybe like one percent of what it's like shown as in like a movie but it's still there and you can see a lot of times um it's just the extent of proving that you are not as girl as the other girl to be more popular do you know what i mean mm -hmm. you know like, what i find kind of funny is like when I think of the, when I try to think of like the popular, quote unquote popular girls in our school at least, 
you know how like in the movies they kind of portray it like the popular girl no no because even in the movies the popular girl is never popular because they're nice they're always popular for like a kind of bad reason you know like when you think of like the popular girl you don't have a positive connotation to it like it's not like oh this girl's so popular because she's so kind she's so nice she's so she's so ambitious it's like oh she's the popular girl because she like dates a lot of guys Mm, I just okay, now I see what you mean. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's it's yeah. not that dating guys is a bad thing, but it's always said with a bad connotation. Yeah, yeah. Or it's like, oh, I I don't know how I explain like it. It's, it's just like, like the girls in our school who we would consider quote unquote popular. Like what? Like the things that girls get known for in high school mm-hmm. are never things that are like about them as a character, like about their sorry about their character. It's always about like. Oh, she's popular because, like, she hooked up with a bunch of guys. Or she's popular because she, like, did this drama thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wait, like, you know it's... Uh, when you like, brought up... When, I'm sorry. sorry. When, when you, like, reference a popular girl, you would, like, a lot of people would often, like, put them down. It's like, oh, yeah. Oh, they're not even that good, you know? You know what I mean? It just yeah. like the like trying to like say that like in the movies, you know how the popular girl is always the bad guy, even though the main character is the one that's like slut shaming them and like you know what I mean? When mm-hmm. the me- you know, mm-hmm. when the mean girl hasn't really done much, it's just that they're a girly girl and the main character is not a girly girl and because being a girly girl is bad, and, and doing girly things is bad. Suddenly, the main the main character has this whole thing about how they're so much better than the popular girl because the popular girl does girly things, but then the main character doesn't, and then the main character hates the popular girls because of that. Mm-hmm. Once again, one percent of that still applies. Yeah, I notice when we bring up like a person just to reference them, and then one person will be like, "Oh yeah, she's actually nice." Like, I notice that happens a lot. Or, like, yeah. Oh yeah, she's actually a sweet person. The one time I talked to her, like, where did the, where, when did we ever think she was mean? Like, why, why does that happen all the time? Yeah. Like, I think, I think maybe because, like, did you guys go into high school kind of like, I went into high school scared of girls because I was like, they're going to be mean to me because I'm, I'm not like the other girls. <laughs> I am, yeah. I am not. Okay, wait. <laughs> part two of just me exposing how much of a not like other girls girl I was did you ever have like those I'm not popular I'm like the least popular girl and the other girls are gonna like because I'm not popular like I went into high school with that mentality what is wrong with me like <laughs> yeah the whole like I'm not like other girls thing is a lot I think it's the most prominent I guess is that the right word it's the mm-hmm. most prominent in high school because there's like you're like obviously as, like, grade 12s, we can, like, look back and see, like, oh, stuff like that doesn't really matter, like, how popular you are or how many friends you are. But when you're, like, 14 and you're going into, like, a new school, it's hard to, like, not fall into that. And then you get into the whole thing where it's, like, how do I prove that I'm the best? Or how do I prove that I deserve to be mo- the most popular? Mm-hmm. And then it's, like, well, once again, okay, back to, uh, to touch on, like, a topic we briefly mentioned in our last uh, episode one Go check how, it out. um the only male attention is better than any female attention that you can get in terms of like oh if you have more guy friends it's like oh you're cool but if you have more girlfriends it's like eh, you know yeah. um and mm-hmm. in high school i like i can especially in the younger grades um there's a lot of like oh i'm not like the other girls i do boy things i'm, I'm one of the boys boy. yeah and obviously, there's nothing wrong with liking boy things. There's nothing wrong with liking girl things. Like, traditionally, boy and girl things. Or, like, being a tomboy. But oftentimes, it is treated as something that's better. So, yeah. In order. Mm-hmm. So, like, to get more guy friends, you're like, oh, yeah, that girl wears so much makeup. She's such a slut. I'm not like her. I'm like a bro. But yeah, then like, it's, when like, it's fueled by misogyny. <laughs> yeah. Like, you don't, you cool can be, be a, a bro, bro like, without putting down. Exactly. Not- Rose, you know like you exactly. can exactly yeah. because yeah. i feel like both are very valid on their own but one of them exactly. it gets fueled by the hatred of being feminine yeah and you know what even on the flip side you get girls who are 
like the more tomboyish who are, have more guy friends for whatever reason and you still see girls going oh well she just do, does that because she wants like the boy's attention she just does that because she thinks she's cool like mm-hmm. it, it there's that opposite side again where it doesn't matter how you exist misogyny will get you yeah <laughs> even from own, yes. even from like other girls misogyny yeah. is like so big within like just girls in general because it's just you've been raised with it you can't get rid of it it's just there mm-hmm. And I think it really rears its head in high school because, I mean, because in high school, everyone's trying to figure out who they are, what they want to do, and what their identity means to them. And when you are raised in an environment that picks apart your identity on a constant, like, in, in every single waking moment of your life, you're being examined under a microscope, you're going to do the same thing to other girls, regardless. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's not good. But I can't blame other girls when that's exactly how we've been raised. We've been raised to to view other women as competition for male attention, which is disgusting to say. But (laughs) no offense. No, like, whatever. Like, men, you know what? You know what? No, men, (laughs) whatever. I, I think we can also, like, because of that, that's why trends kind of cycle so quickly between, like, girls. Like, like, two there's like pressure to be there's either pressure to follow the trend or there's pressure to be the exact opposite do you know what i mean like yeah. when um when visco girls were a thing oh, i was just thinking of visco girls you were like you were either a visco girl or you weren't and then there was always like oh so much visco girl slander but also if you weren't a visco girl it was like oh you're not actually a girl why don't, why aren't you tre- why aren't you following the trends but then literally like a month later okay not a month a couple months later the entire like trendy thing shifts and then it just shifts every few months and then it's like oh you have to be this trend to be like in with everything but if you follow the trend it's like oh you're so basic but if you don't follow the trend it's like oh you're so weird you know why aren't you following the trend yeah and then but then yeah and then once you start following it it changes and then you gotta catch up again and then <laughs> not good for the bank account man yeah, yeah. all the clothes time, you have to get to follow yeah yeah follow, like every time you want to follow a trend you have to like justify it like i feel like I constantly have to prove why I'm doing this. Like this is why yeah. the way I am because and then I think in the process you start putting down other people because you're yeah. like I'm like this because I don't want to be like this. I yeah. I I still catch myself doing that because I yeah. don't I don't like um personally I'm not like I don't really follow trends personally just cuz a that's a lot of money I have to spend and b it, it, I don't I don't know like I don't know how to explain it because I'm I I don't know whether or not it is because I just I'm still trying to not be like the other girls but it's like I want to like something on my own without the world telling me I need to be liking it but then I I do recognize that when I was younger it would I used to like it would be in a very um I don't want to follow the trends I don't want to be like other girls mentality of like I don't want to be I don't direction I was yeah, having this okay, conversation yeah. the other day. I didn't like One Direction solely because it was the girly thing to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can you tell me why that was the logical decision for me to make? Like, hello? Because we got made fun of. Yeah. yeah. Like, the girls who liked One Direction and Justin Bieber got made fun of. And you didn't want to be one of those girls, mm-hmm. so you made fun of them. And it was like... Yeah, you yeah, either get made fun of or you yeah. made fun of them. Yeah, and it's... One or the other. I, I feel like... When you do follow the trends, like, oh, I can't, like, the fact that so many people choose not to follow a trend because they do not want to like what most girls like, but then, like, but the trends are trends for a reason, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you're not, you're okay, you're not better for following a trend, and you're not better for not following a trend. You can do either or. The main problem arises when you think you are better. Mm-hmm. Like, Obviously, your choice of what you do does not matter at all because that's your own choice. But if yeah. you're making the choice based on the idea that you will be a better person because you are not wearing skinny jeans or you're not wearing uh, freaking Converse, be- like thinking that you're a better person because of that solely, you need to, ch- you need to check yeah. what, you're <laughs> process- what you're thinking when you're making these decisions. Yeah. Kind of taking it back more, I guess, like to the school topics. I'm curious to know, have you guys felt a physical, I don't know, it's not visible, but like, have you felt like an, like, hold on, <laughs> have you felt um, a difference in treatment or a difference in experience in just class 
based on being a girl and based on Definitely. not being. Um, Let's talk. Uh, Ray's gifted, AP classes, uh, sciences. Um, like, obviously, <laughs> there's a lot of girls in the, the gifted program and within the science courses. But when, like, I see sometimes when, not, not a call out to any of my classes, because I know some people listening are, but there are certain <laughs> situations where it's like, if I get the right answer, it's not right until, like, for example, until Matthew checks up on it and makes sure that it's right, because Matthew's in my class, like, we have the same classes. Mm-hmm. It's not right until it's proven right by, like, a guy. Whereas, yeah. it's like, if it was a guy, it would just be the final answer. And I, like, I can... It's like, subconscious. I would, I, yeah. Like, obviously, I, they definitely don't mean it, but just, like, the idea that, like, oh, so did see makeup but you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it, yeah. like you're taking you're taking a little less seriously, and maybe they mm-hmm. don't mean to do it like purposefully, but it's just so it's there. Like, exactly. Yeah, like it's just it's like programmed into you already, and it's you can't unprogram it. You know? Yeah. It's like like I don't know. Like I don't want to be like, oh, my answers are always right. Obviously they're not. But the fact that someone else's answers could be equally as wrong, but theirs would be more likely to be. Like they wouldn't Accepted. question their answer, mm-hmm. whereas they would question mine. Yeah, and uh, you take a lot of like the science, not no, sorry, not like the comp sci robotics type courses, which are I guess notably male dominated. Have you had any kind of like experiences with that, or are you like not really noticing anything? Um. Well, in general, a lot of not a lot of, but some of the tech courses that I have, there are very few girls and, or in general, like, AFAB people in my class. And, well, it's just, like, it's not that the teachers try very hard to, like, avoid sexism like Mm. of course they they they're aware that the girls are a minority in the class Mm -hmm. but if if like the girl perceived students are like struggling Mm -hmm. then you know it's just like oh like find a boy to help you you know it's (laughs) it's really it's really like I, w- I don't want to say discouraging, but it makes you feel very disappointed as a girl to be misrepresenting or something like that. Mm, like, yeah, this is a general thing with minorities is that as a minority, you have to work so hard because you're representing yourself mm. and, and the people like that. I, that have the same identity as you. Mm-hmm. You're representing them in an environment where, you know, like the majority population, if they were struggling, it would not be it would not be associated with that part of their identity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I think it's it's really tough like that. And you know it um it's probably the reason why um a lot of girls if they struggle in classes like that they just don't they don't say anything mm-hmm. and yeah. they don't you know they don't they don't want to ask for help yeah because then it's just oh it's you know it's just cuz you're it's just cuz you're a girl it's not your fault That's- that's yeah. so I that's such a good point. Like how much of how much of the things that that was a sorry. Um <laughs> how many how many of the things that we, we do and the way that we express our emotions are diminished to just the fact that we're a girl. We're sad? Oh, you're just girl things. You're <laughs> you're mad girl things. Like And it's <laughs> like you can try to be it doesn't matter if somebody's trying to be empathetic or if they're comforting you. It's still, it's it's still there. 
it, yeah. it makes you feel like, like all you are is a girl. Mm-hmm. And I, yeah. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah. Maybe that's and why like, people try so hard not when like the whole like not like other girls is that you just so desperately want someone to recognize your feelings and your emotions as your own and not as mm-hmm. that of a girl that you're willing to go out and be like, yeah, I'm not like the other girls recognize the fact that I'm a person that is that can ex- that yes, I am a girl, but that is not all that there is to my identity. And I guess if we connect both what you're saying, um, I can. I can sympathize with girls that have a lot of internalized misogyny where they often do put down other girls in terms of being girls to prove that mm-hmm. they're not a girl. Mm-hmm. Because it's just so hard to be a girl that mm-hmm. like I like obviously I don't condone it. I I don't I, like I you should not be putting down other girls and you should not be trying to be the least girl you can be just because you don't like girls. Mm-hmm. But I can see why we would do it. Like yeah. It's essential, I guess, quote unquote. I'm doing quotation marks if you can't see me. Um, <laughs> if you want to get ahead, because to get ahead, you can't be viewed as a girl. Because if you are viewed as a girl, literally everything you do that's wrong will literally be, it, it's just because you're a girl. It's put on you because you're a girl. If, yeah. like, a girl and a guy make the same mistake, but the guy's like, oh, you know, tough week, girl, it's like, oh, you're a girl. You're a girl. What did you expect? Girls go into things expected that if you're a girl in a hard subject, they want you to be the very best. They want you to be, s- like, the top of the top. But, like, a guy can go into a hard subject and say, oh, I'm just... Average. You know, like, he's average, and he can be accepted as average. If a girl is average, then whenever she makes a mistake, it's, it's just not treated the same. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. this is such a big fear of mine. Sometimes, sometimes I try to be a little funny. Sometimes I think I'm a little funny. But I, 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 I hate it when sometimes if, like, my joke is not as funny or if my, my, my funny comment is not as funny and it's a little silent, my biggest fear is that it, people are sitting there in silence like, oh, girls aren't funny. This is why. Like, you're yeah. a prime example of why girls aren't funny. Yeah. And, Comedy. Yeah. Oh. Oh, comedy is a... Well, I mean, like, okay, to save it, like, to keep it within, like, being a teenager, I noticed I had drama for, like, three years, right? And I noticed Mm -hmm. that guys can do stuff and it's, like, automatically funny, but the girls have to try harder to get that. Like, okay, for me, I get a lot of validation when I tell a joke and people laugh. (laughs) But that doesn't happen sometimes because, like, I remember very vividly just... If I say a joke, a little quiet, and people don't hear, like, but, like, oh, they'll just look at me, like, okay, that was kind of funny. Then a guy will repeat it, and everyone starts roaring with laughter, and you're like, mm-hmm. that came from my brain. Yeah. My brain, not yours. Like, you can see different treatments of, like, you know when they were, like, oh, you're the guy version of this person, where you're, like, you're the girl version of that. <laughs> There's, yeah. like, like, you could literally, you could literally be the girl version of a guy. You could literally do the exact same thing, say the exact same thing, but mm-hmm. it's just like, well, you know, that's what? That funny because you're a girl. Okay, that's <laughs> like that's like it kind of ties back into that. It kind of ties back into our childhood episode, but like, I not to go on again about how much boys bother me. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I promise, I promise, guys are fine, but like in class situations, it continues in high school, guys can get away with doing the least and doing the absolute most and not getting in trouble like it's it in both ways like they could do like nothing and it'll be just like and they could be doing (laughs) so much they could be doing too much and it's it's nothing but if a girl were to do if a girl were to give as little as that guy did they would be put down if they were Mm -hmm. to give too much and be like i don't know extra whatever you want to call it they would be viewed kind of like as a other than if that makes sense like Mm -hmm. a guy could do act out in class really really rashly and most people would kind of just be like whatever it's just a guy being a guy if a girl did it it would be talked about for a lot longer yeah Yeah. well yeah in general disappointed in you yeah (laughs) 
It's like, it's oh, like, I expected you to be better. But why? Yeah, like, why? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Like, like I didn't expect this behavior from you. Like, <laughs> okay, sure, but like, I'm you also literally didn't expect it from a girl. Well, yeah. it's just, all I did was talk. Forever, <laughs> girls have been conditioned, you know, to be polite and like allow themselves to be spoken over. There's so much being spoken over as a girl. It makes like especially particularly for me, I I cannot interrupt people. I it's it's one of the reasons why I don't talk that much in the podcast. It's just conditioned like that. If you're if you're a girl, you get spoken over. It's just it's just plain simple. Mm-hmm. And that's why that's why you'll hear when girls um, maybe say something in class, they'll say, I think, and mm-hmm. things like that. Oh my like, gosh, I think. Apologize when they're about to start saying something in a conversation. And it's very subtle, but yeah. you can see that because it's the only thing, like, it's a, just a, a, something that girls do to protect themselves mm-hmm. because they're afraid that, you know, you don't know, you could. They could turn on you. They, that's literally what it boils down to. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to next time I, when I go to class, it's I'm going to just... count how many times a girl says, like, I'm sorry or I think. Yeah. That's like or like, sorry if I'm wrong. I don't or, know. Though. Uh, this could be totally wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> do you, you have you your, you that post? Have, like the homework questions that are like 100 percent right and you're like oh but i don't know for sure though don't trust me oh my god oh, no, no, yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was literally me yesterday doing our bio bio assignment i put the numbers into google sheets it calculated it for me i had a very i know in my head i had a low chance of it being wrong and i sent it to people and i said this could be 100 percent wrong don't trust my answers oh my god i didn't know that oh <laughs> yeah like what? and and oh my gosh like Boys can have this insecurity too. Yeah. yeah. But just know yeah. that girls have been like trained to do this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, like your whole life, um, the whole thing about you is that you're submissive and you I, can't mm-hmm. if you do something wrong, well then you're misrepresenting everyone. Like, oh, yeah. My bad, girls. <laughs> now, now we Sorry, look dumb. <laughs> like, yeah. okay, wait. Pre- to preface, like, I, again, all of our ex- this is all our experiences, our opinions, et cetera, et cetera. Mm-hmm. And I think it's I think boys can experience a lot of these things, and it's very valid for them to. And if they are experiencing, it's very valid. But there's a difference between experiencing it and experiencing it solely because you're a girl. Yeah, if that makes like sense. If, yeah, like obviously, like, boys have like trouble doing certain things, like not apologizing in like conversations for like speaking up. But that's not inherently because you are a boy. That's not inherently because you, like, you weren't, it's it. You, Less no like, one told you, yeah. because you're a boy, you can't do that. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's like from, it's like from separate factors, not mm-hmm. relating to your, your gender. You know what I mean? Yeah. Have you seen that post that was like, um, girls giving the most like factual and accurate explanation for things and then ending with, I think, or I'm wrong. And then boys spewing the most West side, no, sorry, not West, like left field BS crap and saying, tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> and that's funny, but like true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, oh, the times that I've gotten into like a like a mild disagreement over a fact where we're like, like I don't think like, yeah I was right in it, but like it, it it's not like a hypothetical like oh our apples good. There's no yes or no, but it was like is is four plus four eight? Mm-hmm. Yes, but. Yeah. Oh, I had to fight for my life. Like, it is yeah. a. I know it is a. Why are you, like, and stop fighting like, me so much on it? Why can't like, we be like, right? Let us be right. And it's yeah, like, and, 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 like, and it seems like a boy will be just so much more defensive about being wrong about something when it's a girl who's the right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, because, oh my gosh, have you ever. Okay, we're approaching the end of this episode but have you ever had like those experiences where like i will kind of, i will kind of talk about this earlier like four plus four is eight and i'll say it's eight and they'll be like are you sure it's a like what if it's not eight like what if it's not and i'm like it's eight four plus four is eight 
And then some guy in the other end of the classroom will go like, yeah, it's eight. And the guy will be like, oh, okay. Yeah. And like, you can argue, oh, it doesn't mean it's because you're a girl. It could just be because someone wants like a valid answer. It's like, well, why is my answer not valid? Like you, like, but you can tell yourself that, but you know it's not. Even if you don't directly choose to do these things, like you're, you're not choosing to doubt a girl's ability. It's just been ingrained in you. That's not your fault. It's just something we have to unlearn. But yeah, so many times when, when you talk about things like this, it's like, oh, it's not a gender issue. Why are you bringing gender into this? Like, yeah. it's just because you're dumb. Who cares? We're like, well, <laughs> yeah, like I can't fault you for ex- for behaving in a way that society's taught you. But like, and this can be applied to a multitude of minority issues, but when a minority is saying, hey, you're doing this and I don't really like it, the least you can do is listen, hear yeah, us out. I recognize it. Yeah. Like, oh, you'll call people out on sexism and be like, I'm not sexist, I love girls, I love girls, how could I ever be sexist? And then they would like, immediately dismiss everything you say for no reason. Oh, well, there is a reason, but they won't admit the reason because they're not sexist because they love girls. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, but I I know this was kind of like a lot of maybe not necessarily high school, but like I think this was a lot of things that we maybe noticed in high school in this episode because yeah, like, you start to really feel oh well, yeah uh, yeah because as a child it's not something that you're able to differentiate from like what it should be like. Mm-hmm. like you don't you're not able to recognize that that's not in the ideal world that is not normal yeah. mm-hmm. and that is maybe maybe it's probably wrong and should be changed yeah. I think like, when these <laughs> things happen to you as a kid you don't immediately make the connection of oh this is happening to you because you're a girl because as a kid you don't think that your gender as a girl is wrong is gonna impact like how people treat yes! you. You know what I mean? Yes. Like when you're yes! a kid, you don't, you don't, you don't think about, oh yeah, they don't like me because I'm a girl. But when you get into high school, you start to like yeah. understand it more, and it happens more. Mm-hmm. And then it's just like, oh, okay. Because like in high That's- school, at least like sh- it's harder. But like at least in high school, like if someone says something to me that's sexist, I can be like, that you're you're the wrong. You're wrong because you're being sexist. But if you're a child, you're kind of taking that into like I'm wrong. Like my being and personhood mm-hmm. is wrong. Mm-hmm. And that's all, like, yeah. Because that's what, what do you do with that information? Point. Yeah, like you, it's not something you acknowledge as a kid because that's that's the time where it's getting like put into your head. Mm-hmm. So and then you realize it all in high school, and then especially I feel like in the later years of high school, a lot of girls start to begin that process of unlearning a lot yeah. of those internalized misogynistic behaviors and start being more comfortable in calling out those misogynistic behaviors but what's really sad is that a lot of boys don't do that in high school if they do it at all in life unfortunately (laughs) yeah and i guess if you're like a younger girl like maybe if you're in grade if you're starting out high school and you're like in grade eight and you're thinking these girls are so yeah no being a girly girl is bad being basic is bad in in a couple of years you will look back and you will understand yeah that like it's not your fault for thinking this way but just you'll you'll if you if you're having trouble wrapping your head around this you'll understand one day and because as you grow up and you experience more things it becomes more apparent and then like you learn more you mature more and then you're able to understand things better start asking yourself i i think this is very helpful start asking yourself when you make comments especially comments towards other girls or comments about yourself as a girl or boys if you're listening to this if you make comments about girls in general Ask yourself why you're making those comments. Like mm-hmm. someone, someone said something. Um, I saw this thing. It was about this was more about like fictional characters and stuff, like the differences between male and female characters. But like, it is okay to dislike a girl so long as you're disliking them because of like something valid, and it's not because of their identity as a girl. Like if a guy did the exact same thing, and mm-hmm. you and you also disliked it, then like yeah, that's about like if some if a girl punched me in the face, I don't like her because she punched me in the face. Because I also wouldn't like it if a guy punched me in the face. But if it's like, if a girl is like, I don't know, wearing skinny jeans. food. Yeah, sure. Wearing skinny jeans. And I'm like, I don't like her because she's wearing skinny jeans. But if a guy were to wear skinny jeans, I'd be okay with that. That's when the issue starts to come mm-hmm. into play. It's like, why do you really not like that thing? And unpack it and have that conversation mm-hmm. with yourself because it, it's nice not to hate your existence. Mm-hmm. And it's like, like <laughs> tough, it's like tough admitting that 
you can have misogynistic thoughts. Like it's mm -hmm. like especially if you're a girl, it's tough to recognize, and it's tough. To, it, like you don't want to admit it. Like mm -hmm. oh, you don't want to say that you you don't like girls. You're a girl. Like you know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. it's tough. But the more and more you pretend like it doesn't exist, the more and more you add to it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's okay. Yeah. We were we were conditioned by society. It is okay that you you feel that way, but um, what are you gonna do about it? Are you gonna turn around or are you gonna keep the same? Yeah, that's where it becomes fun. But I think that concludes our very wow. random jumbled up episode. Wow. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed. Um, this is like something that matters a lot to us, and we hope that when you do listen to these, you do reflect on things that maybe you like. If we see something that you're like, huh, I hope you reflect on them. But um, just make sure to follow us on Instagram, <laughs> podcast, subscribe yep. to our YouTube or um, our Spotify, Apple Music, whatever you're listening to this lovely episode on. And you can come back on, on a Wednesday, Wednesday for another Wednesday for more of this segment. And you can come back on Monday for our main episode. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.